Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. This is a very impromptu video. As you can see, I don't even have my camera lights right now, so I apologize if it's dark. I am. It is 5.44 a.m. in the morning. I am here at Sacred Garden Studio. I've been here since 2 a.m. I typically do my practice first, and then I prep for my, my actual class that starts in 45 minutes. Um, and this morning I brought my laptop because I wanted to do some work in between my practice and when my students come in and about, they'll be coming in in about 20 minutes. And I was like, you know what? I just need to, I just need to film this right now because this is not scripted. This is not a deep dive. This is just my genu genuine reaction and something that I pride myself on, as you guys know, something I think that's so important, especially in, in the atmosphere that we're in and the environment that we're in, in 2024, you know, Catherine Edwards and I talk about this a lot. Opinions are supposed to change. Opinions are always evolving and changing. And when more information is presented, then opinion should change. If you're being presented with information that disproves your original opinion, but you can't quite let go of that original opinion, that is called cognitive dissonance, right? We also have to understand that our opinions are not us, right? That's part of the spirituality of yoga, of, of spirit, that they, your thoughts are really not yours. And if you're never wrong, how can you evolve and change? And I've said this to you guys, especially in the truther community, my opinions have changed a lot since I started this journey just because of my own experience within this community. And I have very much told you guys that I leave all my videos up. The only people that take my videos down or is YouTube, <laughs> you know, because I'm not ashamed of the fact that uh, opinion I held four years ago might not be the same opinion I hold today because I'm constantly researching and I'm constantly challenging my own perspective, you know, and even though I'm not a scientist, that is like the scientific crux of all science, right? All science is you have a theory and they do everything you can, can to try to disprove your own theory. And it's through that friction that we get wiser. Well, my opinion has absolutely changed on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I've only covered her once on my channel and then Catherine Edwards and I did a coffee chat over Munchausen by proxy. But now as of the, I mean, for me, I've only become aware of it in the past like week or so. There is all this information that literally states there is so much more going on with this case than most of us realize. And I have to credit, I believe, and if these if these creators see this video, I'm super shadow banned, so I don't know if you'll see it or not. People can send it to these creators if they want to. I have reached out to one of them, hoping to hear back. Um, I have to credit Fancy from the Good Wives Network. I think that's her platform. I'm now subscribed, but I just found these platforms, so I apologize if I'm not saying them correctly. Um, I'll tag all the platforms down in the description box below under show notes so you guys can go check it out for yourself. So Fancy from the Good Wives Network, um, Flawless Nina, she was the first video that I posted, that I, not, not posted, that I, I listened to. I was actually driving home last Wednesday from teaching and I was on the interstate and I had my phone plugged up in my car and I was just letting videos play while I was listening and her video and I never heard of this content creator before but her video was literally going through I believe if I remember correctly some of Fancy's research into what's really going on with Gypsy Rose Blanchard and then of course um, Candace Starr I believe that's the name of her channel is on a Candace Starr is interesting I really would love to talk to her because she's very spiritual and I don't know how to say this she has this because we're on YouTube. Um, this is why I'm shadow banned a lot. She has these, um, and I'm going to say this is all speculation, right? I, this is totally speculation. This is not fact. But she has a belief that what was hap what's happening, and I hope I'm going to paraphrase this or say this right, um, had more to do with the Aluma Shmati and some of the, um, we'll say the payments 
that people have to do to get into the Illumishmati or to be famous loosely against speculation, please check her channel out, guys. She has a whole playlist on this stuff. Um, she, she explains it better than I do. And then, yeah, so these three creators. So Fancy from the Good Wives Network, Nina from Flawless Nina, and Candace Starr from her channel have all, like, I have been obsessively, like, in between researching for my own shows, I have been obsessively listening to their videos because I am shook it. So allegedly, I have to say allegedly, this is all speculation. It's not fact yet. Please do your own research. This could all very well be a Munchausen by proxy case. We don't know. But there now is evidence that it's not. And from what I understand, and I could be wrong about this, I believe that Fancy, please correct me if I'm wrong. So Fancy, if you see this, please. Well, actually, Fancy, Fancy Nina or Candace Starr, if you see this video, I would love to talk to you guys. Let, let me back up for a second because I have done it one deep dive on Gypsy Rose on my channel. But because my channel is primarily a deep dive channel where I research like weird historical stuff and legend stuff, that's what I'm comfortable talking about. And I feel like even though I absolutely, my, my opinion, I agree with all y'all, as we say down here in the South, all y'all, I agree that you guys have changed my opinion. But you guys understand this because you have more videos on this. You've obviously taken a, a deeper look at this than I have. I feel like that if I were to last minute put together information based on the research you guys have done, I would not deliver it as well as you guys. Like when I do my videos, I need to be super comfortable with the subject so I can speak clearly about the actual subject if that makes sense and for me that's his history is in legends that's easier for me to talk about so would that be if that all makes sense i might be babbling it is early in the morning and i did not expect to do this video i would love to bring all y'all either on one episode together or individually onto my channel so that you guys can talk to my audience about this chromosome disorder that allegedly Gypsy Rose has. Because I literally am shook it. And I would love for you, I'm gonna tag all those channels down in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and go to their channel and look at these videos for yourself. But I would absolutely love, you guys have an open invitation to come on my channel, either individually or as a group round table. I would love to have you guys interview you guys on my channel so that you guys can explain this to my audience um, and myself uh, and really explain like what the hell is actually going on. And the reason why this is so fascinating to me, first of all, it just goes to show you that we're, nobody is immune to being duped. So basically, allegedly, I'll have to say, even though I believe that this is the case now, Gypsy Rose allegedly has a chromosome disorder. Now, I am not, it's a deletion disorder. Fancy and Nina and Candace, I think they have a better understanding of what this actually is medically. So I'm just going to leave that there again. You guys can watch their videos or do your own research. But it seems that what was going on, this chromosome disorder is apparently, from what I understand, very, very rare. And so a lot of the medical stuff that happened to Gypsy as a child was necessary. So it wasn't that her mother, Dee Dee, was like faking stuff. There was something going on. And what I kind of gather, my own understanding of what's kind of being told now, is that for a very long time, they didn't know what was actually wrong with her. So she was having eye issues, um, saliva issues. There's just a whole list of side effects of this chromosome disorder, markers for this chromosome disorder, excuse me, that Gypsy was having. And on their own, it, it, it's just, it was just strange. It was a parent, Dee Dee was trying to figure out what was going on with a child. Now it took, I think it was like 2011 when they actually realized what this was. And again, the reason why it didn't pop up right away is because it's rare. It's rare. And so a lot of doctors aren't thinking about looking for this particular disorder. But I believe in 2011, again, I, I'm not 
don't quote me on that, but I think it was 2011, they actually realized what was happening. But nonetheless, all of the medical stuff going on with Gypsy is a side effect of this chromosome disorder. And so Dee Dee, her mom, was not hurting the child. These were all medically necessary. What was actually going on, though, was what they call malingering. So basically, from what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if these content creators see this, is that Dee Dee was basically conning people for more money because her kid was sick. But her kid was really sick. It just wasn't like cancer. It wasn't, you know, it was malingering. She wasn't actually hurting Gypsy. That was the story that Gypsy told. Now, when it comes to the, the night of the Schmurder, there is speculation that Dee Dee was gone by the time Nick actually got to the house. I still am not super clear about the new timeline of what could have happened, but y'all, so Gypsy was released in January, I think, or end of December, around that time. And that's when I addressed her case because I thought, you know, my opinion was, oh my God, this poor girl, she has literally been imprisoned her whole life by her mama. And she was, this was self-defense. She was trying to get out. I'm um, so, she shouldn't have been in jail for that long anyway. I'm um, let her live her best life now. All these stupid decisions she's doing on social media is probably just because she has arrested development because she didn't get to live out her teenage years like the rest of us did when we were teenagers so now she's kind of living them out in her 30s give her a break but then it, it started to seem through social media to me at least that there was that she was being a little bit manipulative in certain situations but still i would kind of give her the benefit of the doubt like all right well she's you know she's a, she's a victim like she, let her just kind of figure it out you know oh by the grace of god go i you know most teenagers try to manipulate but she's in her 30s she'll figure it out she'll go through the counseling and therapy she needs to like get herself back together i noticed that there was some inconsistencies in like her story but here's the thing about dishonesty Sometimes I feel I, I kind of justified it by the fact that she had been um, a b u s e d her whole life, and sometimes people who are victims of of that have a hard time telling the truth, not because they don't want to tell the truth, but because they're, they they know that sometimes by telling the truth they could get hurt. If that makes sense, so um, it was more of a self preservation. And now that that pattern is set within her, I thought, okay, she learned to do that with her mom when she was little to protect herself. And now that's a set pattern. And so her story is changing. There's obviously some dishonesty, but I'm sure with therapy, she'll get back on track and realize that that's a pattern of survival that she doesn't need anymore. But now I stand corrected because now I realize that the inconsistencies in her story is because the story we were told is not at all what happened. Anyway, so... I really, 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 really would love to have Fancy or Nina or Candace or any or all three of y'all or just individually, which, whatever, to come on my channel and talk about this. Talk about what you've learned. Explain this disorder to my audience because this is so important. As we start to evolve and, and you know, my channel is a deep dive channel, but we're also looking at it from a consciousness perspective and a spiritual perspective. And as we start to evolve, we have to acknowledge where we've been duped because the whole point of spirituality is seeing the truth through the illusion, right? Seeing the truth through the illusion, whether that's the truth about yourself or your own illusions, whether that's the truth about the fact that you are a mortal person, but your spirit is not, that gets deep into spirituality. But part of that too is seeing the truth beyond the illusion in your outside world. And the more you have practiced in this, and again, as I said earlier, this just goes to show you that anybody can be duped. We can all be duped. I was duped. But being able to admit that in course correct, that is why this is so important. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, not fact, my opinion. I now believe that Gypsy Rose is a very dangerous person. My opinion. From what I, the evidence I have been shown by these three different creators. And even though this, she's not in my life, she's not anybody in my life, I just, it's, it's concerning 
Um, it show it has a lot to do with our justice system. What happened in her case? Why did she get out early and the other guy is serving a life sentence? There's just a lot of questions. I feel like Dee Dee was done wrong and her name needs to be, the integrity behind her name needs to be corrected. But nonetheless, I will put everything again in the description box below. If you, if any of these content creators see this, please email me at esoteric Atlanta, my channel name at gmail.com esoteric Atlanta at gmail.com. And just put like, cause I get a lot of emails in that account. So put like, like if, if, if it's flawless, Nina put flawless, Nina the subject's subject line. If it's fancy, put good wives net network in the subject line. It is can uh, Candace puts, put your channel name in the subject line. So I'll see it. And I can respond to you guys and we can work something out to get you on my channel. Cause I would absolutely love, love it. I'd be tickled pink. If one of you or all three of you will come on my channel and explain to my audience what you have learned. And again, guys, all their channel information is down in the description box below. Please go ahead and subscribe to them because they have incredible channels. Um, they're all in essence, truthers. They're looking for the truth. So Please go give them that support and make sure you're subscribed to their channel. When we cover these types of topics that challenges the establishment, because there could be some establishment shenanigans going on with this case. Um, again, Candace Starr brings up a really interesting point with the Aluma Shamadi. Um, we know that channels like ours get shadow banned a lot and have struggled because we're we're the counterculture, right? We're, we're challenging the, the status quo. So um, make sure you subscribe to them so that they have that support because um, they're doing really, really good work. All right, you guys, I guess I'll go ahead and I'm checking the time because I know. I don't want my students walking in with me talking about a Schroeder. Um, they're coming for a spiritual class and I'm, I'm down here talking to you guys about a Schroeder. So um um, update. So today again is Wednesday, the 31st um, of July. I will be, uh, this will probably post after, but I'm obviously going to be with Shanti on solutions with Shanti. Um, at noon today, Eastern time, we're going to be talking about Jim Galgani, another woman that I think had some psychological issues, who was a stigmatic. We'll talk about that. Make sure you join us. There's a live chat. I've covered Gemma on this channel, so you can get caught up and then, you know, join the live chat when we, when we talk about her stigmata, um, which I think she totally faked that we'll get into it with, um, with, um, Shanti though. And then next or tomorrow I'll be on with Captain Edwards for our copy chat, of course. And then next week, so Monday and Wednesday, I'll be back on with Aquarius rising Africa on Monday and then solutions with Shanti on Wednesday, but then I'm traveling. So, um, I'll be gone for about 10 days. So I will probably rest my channel during that time, meaning I'm going to go dark during that time. Uh, I usually like to have videos pre-filmed to go up on, on the YouTube when I'm, when I'm away. But because I'm dealing heavily with shadow banning right now, I think I'm just going to go dark for 10 days uh, just to help reset the algorithm. So if, if all of a sudden I disappear next week, don't worry, I'm, I'm traveling. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll probably post some pictures on Instagram um, while I'm out out traveling. So, um, so yeah. So don't be shocked if all of a sudden I don't post a video for a while. Anyway, um, I'm also going to be, I've gotten, I, I know that there's, if you're new to my channel, there was two topics that kind of blew my channel up. Um, one was my diving into the, the missing books of the Bible that kind of got my channel growth big time. And then going through bloodlines. That was another subject that I have covered a lot on my channel and I've gone on other people's channel to talk about bloodlines. And I kind of left it for a while because I felt like I had talked about everything there was to talk about, about bloodlines. Um, but I have gotten so many requ requests to revisit the bloodlines again. And I, usually when I get those requests, I'll just tag the link to some of my bloodline, my previous bloodline videos. Um, however, I've heard you guys and so what I'm doing currently doing right now, part of the research is I'm looking for new research into the RH negative phenomenon, which is what I am. You guys know I'm an O negative. That's what's piqued my interest into bloodlines when I started to learn about all the conspiracies around the RH negative, which explained a lot about my life and things that I'd experienced. And so I've got some really cool 
source material that I'm going through right now to create whole new videos on bloodlines. And so what I think I'm going to do once I start to film those new videos, not yet, is I'm going to create a bloodline playlist since this seems to be a very hot topic. Um, usually I just put all that stuff in the conspiracy play playlist, but I think I'm going to go ahead and once I get the next video filmed, um, go ahead and create a whole new playlist and then just put all the old videos that I did in that playlist too. So everybody has it. Cause this, you know, even though your bloodline really doesn't matter because it's your soul and it's your free will choice, the more you learn about the effects your particular blood type has on your thoughts and your personality, I think the more you can evolve yourself and in, in your soul, you can actually refine your soul better by understanding that sometimes the propensities we have towards our personality that can be triggered by our blood type, that's just part of the physical experience and it's not the soul. And so you can start to almost refine yourself if that makes sense. Um, and so we will be, so you guys asked for it and we're going to go and do it. I've already started. I got a crap ton of notes um, from some other source material that we're going to go through regarding the bloodlines. I will say though, just to make this very, 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 very clear. I know the stigma around um, RH negatives. And I want to remind you guys on my channel, we treat everybody equally. As Martin Luther King said, I'm going to paraphrase it. I don't, don't judge people by their skin color, judge them by their, their character. Same thing with blood types. So your blood type is no different than something like your skin color or your eye color, your hair color. And we don't judge people by their skin color. We don't judge people by their eye color. And we certainly do not judge people by their blood type. I've seen so many people in this truth or community that want to like exterminate RH negatives like myself. And to you, I say you bigot because that you can't help your blood type, but you can control your character. We don't judge people by things they can't control. We judge people by things they can control. And in every single group of people, whether that's a race or a blood type, a gender, in every single group of people, common sense, they're gonna be good people and they're gonna be bad people. There's no race, there's no blood type that has immunity because of what they can't control. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like. So if you're one of those people that thinks that these, this bloodline talk is going to be about getting those people with a certain bloodline, you're on the wrong channel. We don't do that here. And I will block people. Just as I would block a racist person on my channel, I'm going to also block someone that is aggressive towards people who have particular blood types. Okay? It's just a blood type. It says nothing about who you are as a person. Just like your skin color has fuck all to do with who you are as a human being. All right. So just want to get that very clear before I start this playlist. I will absolutely block people who are aggressive towards other human beings for what they cannot control. I hope, I hope that's clear. All right, you guys, I literally got to sign off because I know my students are going to be coming in soon and I got to light some incense. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm super excited about the new developments and I just, it's, it's just great to always expand your mind. And I really hope Nina and Candace and Fancy, if you see this, I really hope you'll reach out to me because I would love to talk to you guys. Anyway, y'all, everything in the description box below. Go follow those girls. Go follow those ladies. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.